Ladies and gentlemen, if you can cast your mind back to the last game against the Oklahoma City Thunder, you will remember that Damian Lillard got injured. And it was a huge injury. Let me just get down to Damian Lillard. Bam! Let me show you what it was. A torn ACL. And of course, I'm going to be the quick update of the attributes and uh, signature skills and stuff. I had to switch out uh, Chase Down Artist and put in on court coach. Because I like to call for the ball. It makes getting out of loops a lot more easier. And, you know, I like being a big point guard to an extent. Because I like passing the ball and stuff. But pause the video wherever you want to see what the signature skills is to see his shooting form is released as we jump in this game of course you see the hall of fame verification check we are in the finals we're going up against the da, 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 chicago bulls you thought we were playing the miami heat but the bulls managed to beat the heat i think they went into the game seven or was it game six i can't remember but either way the bulls managed to come out on top and this is a team that will really make us work I say that because the Bulls overall are a great defensive team, but we're showing great defense right there blocking Carlos. Bulls are cabron. You gotta really play your game, man. You gotta play your game. And uh, he tried playing his game, but it never worked out so well. And have you noticed? Have you noticed that? The reverse layups in this game, or anything baseline related, will not miss. I mean, I'm marking players down low, and they're literally a good, what, couple of inches behind the backboard. And they're shooting hook shots. They're shooting fadeaways. They're sh pulling up in the face of the defense and nailing jumpers. I'm like, is this some Hall of Fame shit or what the hell is going on? I think the baseline is kind of glitched. I mean, if you can drive baseline, you're going to get a contact layup that will at least a good 95% of the time be called a foul. So you get sent to the free throw line. You get sent to the free throw line. Speaking of getting sent to the free throw line, I should have said that as Joe Kim Noah shot his free throw. Uh, but I digress. We're going right back in. I completely forgot what I was going to say. We're going to try and get those two points right back that Noah managed to pick up. The Chicago Bulls in the lead right now with a couple points, but we're going to try and make that change. As Noah goes up, he's missing that re that boards, missing that shot. Why did I say boards? Clearly, we weren't going to get the rebound. But it was something I was really wanting to talk to you guys in a second. I'll bring it up in a second. Speaking of in a second, we're going to back up Lou Aldang. Lou Aldang's birthday was yesterday. So how's that for a present in your face, Lou? <laughs> well, you know, happy birthday to Lou Aldang. Of course, him and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the captain, the skyhook captain, the player we kind of look like slash role model are my career player off of just now, is looking like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Look at that pass from Earl Watson to... Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, Mr. L.A. going up, throwing down. He's going to do what he's going to do. Derrick Rose, oh my goodness, this dude was going to just dismantle and destroy our point guard. This is why we needed uh, Damian Lillard, but unfortunately, like I said, and you've seen, he is injured. And we're going to take full advantage. Oh my goodness, Chris. Ice Cube, you are needed. It's time for Sprite. Slam. Damn! And it ain't even Friday. Mm. Lou Aldang got confused on that play. That was looking a bit like a, I'd say like a Blake Griffin type of dunk. That's when he goes up, hits the contact, elevates a little bit more, throws it in. He doesn't dunk it, he throws it in. It's kind of insane like that. But what was I mentioning? Yeah. A couple of things I need to ask you guys. Um, I'm planning on starting to do streaming. If you follow me on a PlayStation, if you have me as a friend on PlayStation, which I think you'll be able to get at some point in the video if you see my uh, my gamer tag or PlayStation ID or whatever it's called at the bottom right hand side of the screen, you know what PlayStation the <laughs> PlayStation the PlayStation username is, so you can add me on that whenever you want. If you don't know what it is, it's the AT29 YT. I'm pretty sure. I think it's that. I hope it's that anyway, I might have just given you the wrong button, but it, you'll see it at the bottom right hand side of the screen at some point in the video or the other. But yeah, you can add me on that, I try and run parks occasionally, um, I rarely do my team anymore, that's another topic on a different story, on another show, somewhere else, I will talk about that later on, but yeah. So if you stalk me on PlayStation, you might have noticed that I've, uh, I have started streaming occasionally the past couple of days. It's something I want to try out. People say try it out, and I was like, okay, let me try it out. So I've been doing a couple of streams of uh, Allen Iverson and uh, Derek Rose in the Chicago Bulls uh, GM season I've got going on, which I post videos on here, which I haven't done for a while. 
and uh, I think I might even do one or two uh, live my career so what do you guys think of that would you guys be up for watching me streaming on twitch and if you don't know what my uh, twitch account is just follow me on twitch it's just the AT29 I keep that simple you know everything's unlocked so yeah, I try and keep everything in one set pattern the AT29 this AT29 that same for my twitter instagram vine uh, facebook page so you know you can find me anywhere just google the AT29 you'll find me you find me, yeah. Or if not, you can look in the description box below and click, click, bam, you find it. And we're just dishing out dimes, kicking out crimes, and doing all sorts of stuff. Who do we see coming to the rim? Lamar is always giving us another assist. Thank you, kind of Marquis. Oh man, I miss playing basketball. I haven't played ball in a while, and this brought me to thinking about a lot of stuff the other night. And uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you seen I kind of went on a, a bit of a what's it called? A bit of a rant the other night, not the other night, but a couple of nights ago where I just sat there, I'm like, I'm finding it hard to sleep and I just typed whatever was on my mind and I said something the other night that uh, I really think was, you know, I, I like that going, I'm throwing down the alley -oop. taking what we can get if no one's gonna protect the rim, you better protect your neck cause we're gonna freaking Wu Tang chop that mother shut your mouth, what am I talking about, what, yeah <laughs> there's some words of encouragement I wanna give to you, whether you play ball whether you are a musician or an artist or whatever, whatever you really like doing, you know, always, always pursue your dream. Always. That's something I want to tell you to do, always. Because at the end of the day, you know, the mind is a powerful tool. Like to even quote, I think I have it written down on my phone. I was writing this just off the top of my head the other night. I just can't remember it right now. It's on the Facebook page. So if you're on the Facebook page, you'll see it right there. And I will read for you quote for quote what I wrote. In case you might have forgot, forgot, really, forgot. Speaking of goats, check out my last video, Goat Simulator. Really funny. Uh, it wasn't funny, just me laughing my ass off. Yeah, here we go. Always follow your dreams. Always. If you really want something, force it into existence by sheer willpower. The mind is a powerful tool. Quote me on that. So you can, no matter what, if you have the right mindset, follow it. Do what you want to do. Like, when I was young, I was really into basketball. And uh, I kind of slowed down. Like, I was really into it. I used to spend about a good six hours a day when I was young and it was summer. I would, I would just practice shooting, playing ball. And every summer, like, for the past three summers, I, I have a bit of a tradition going on. I watch a certain video, and then I go outside. And depending whether it's Ramadan or not, um, I used to just go and play for as long as I could. Just outside. You know, you see my hoop. You see what I do. I just play ball. And it's just amazing. I really loved it. And you just, I hit that zen mode. That uh, relaxed phase. That's when I was truly at peace. That, that's something you guys... If you just try it out, it's really good. I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, that's the end of this game. Shit, I, I thought I had more time. I was going to go on a whole speech about this. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Vine. I have a second channel called the Twin 9 TV. I will see you guys next time. Till then, peace to you. Enjoy your day. How does it feel to get the first game here in the NBA Finals? It feels good. We wanted to come out and set the tone, and we think we accomplished that here. We know it's a race to four games, not just one. But with the way we were able to get the win here tonight, we're that much closer to getting to the ultimate goal, and that motivates us. We want that ring, baby. Make no mistake about it.